Prurigo simplex, prurigo nodularis clinical prurigo simplex consists of intensely pruritic erythematous papules, often on the extensor aspects of the arms. The lesions of prurigo nodularis consist of dome-shaped nodules that may be eroded or crusted, and are due to persistent rubbing or scratch lichen planus prurigo lichen simplex chronicus, chronic dermatitis, pemphigus. Vegetans blastomycosis, chromomycosis blastomycosis like pyoderma bromoderma, iododerma pseudo, epitheliomatous hyperplasia canthoma fissuratum prurigo simplex has the appearance of a subacute dermatitis, with mild irregular acanthosis, spongiosis, spongiotic vesicles, perikeratosis, and a superficial perivascular chronic inflammatory infiltrate. Prurigo nodularis has more marked irregular acanthosis, often approaching pseudocarcinomatous hyperplasia. The architecture is that of a papule, and there may be progressive elongation of the reek ridges from the edge to the center of the lesion. In addition, there is hyperkeratosis with focal perikeratosis, hypergranulosis, a perivascular chronic inflammatory infiltrate, and papillary dermal fibrosis. Hypertrophy of nerve. Bundles may be noted the clinical differential diagnosis of prurigo simplex includes arthropod bites, scabies, folliculitis, papular urticaria, papular eczema, malaria rubra, dermatitis herpetiformis, and Grover's disease. The clinical differential diagnosis of Prurigo nodularis includes nodular scabies, hypertrophic lichen planus, and persistent arthropod bite reactions. Histologically prurigo simplex may be difficult to distinguish from papular urticaria. Prurigo nodularis is similar to other disorders that show the histologic pattern of chronic eczematous dermatitis, such as atopic dermatitis, numular eczema, chronic contact dermatitis, and pityriasis rubra polaris.